Okay, today I've got a prep assignment for you that's going to be for the next thing that we do after uh, electrical circuits. We're going to go into power, which part of it is electrical power. And so I want you to go around your house and find three or four different things that you use somewhat frequently and look for the label that tells you about the electrical requirements of it. So I'm going to show you a couple examples here of what that looks like on some things that just happen to be handy for me. So in my living room I happen to have had a couple of uh, vacuum cleaners handy so I, I look at the cord and there is the information. It tells us how many volts there are it uses and how many amps of current it uses. Sometimes these will look a little bit different than that but that's a good one. Another one here, right next to the power cable, tells you the information, very similar to the last. Um, but most devices will have this, so if we go over to even like a clock, pull this out, some of them will be harder to find. We'll see if we can get good light. Um, but right here, some of them get pressed into the plastic itself. So you might be looking for, um, oh, and I realize that's backwards on this one. You might be looking for uh, pressed in, there we are, uh, usage, where is that? Oh, it is right there. The top line of this, second top line, it says the model and then it says AC, focus, AC 120 volts, 60 hertz, 5 watts. So it might not say the, um, the current in amps, it might just list the voltage and the power in watts, and that power is what we're going to be looking at. So that's an okay thing, too. Um, I'm going to walk out to the kitchen and show you another one that's handy. All of these devices would have it near where you plug in the power. Some of them are going to be more convenient to find, but try and figure out, find things that you are using frequently. So depending on what kind of device it is, you might have to look in a different place. So this one, you, the uh, microwave is attached to the wall, so you can't have access to that. So they have to put the labels somewhere where you can find it. So we've got the uh, voltage, we've got the uh, current usage, or in a blender. There on the bottom, you can see all that information. Take pictures of those or if you don't have access to a camera, uh, write them down on a piece of paper and just copy the what, what device it is and what the requirements for its electrical uh, plug-in are. That's it, four of them, four tomorrow.